I'm Sam Curry and today I'm going to show you the jig that I want to create for my electric hand planer. So what I want to achieve is, is quite straightforward really. Um, I basically want this planer here to act almost like that of a thicknesser um, for a fraction of the price. So that's that's what I'm going to make. Is it's, it's essentially something for this planer that will help it to act like a thicknesser along that same ilk of, of a router sled. I found a fellow on YouTube that's done something quite similar and I'm plagiarising that down to a T. I think this, that's, that's what I want to create. So it'll be basically, as just sort of demonstrated with these scraps, of, you know, leftover bit of timber here. Pack them out both sides like that. And then there you've got for uh, to get it together. Drill through about there. Mimic mimic that on the other side. Yep, like so. Drill through. Threaded rod. Like, like there. And then Obviously a longer version of that, coming across and sort of poke out onto a sled. Alright, so where we're at now, it's got the frame around this. Now I'm going to cut this this piece of cavity batten down and attach it to the front and to the back as so, which will then give it something to support against the table, I suppose, here. Um, still haven't sort of worked out how I want to go about adjusting heights. Now I think it'll be quite quite straightforward to be bringing the piece, piece up if you've got to flip it and then try and um, and cut that down so that should be quite easy with some shims or something to to raise the piece itself evenly on the on the table however um, probably more so when you're looking at a, bit, a bigger piece of timber or, you know that you're trying to trying to level out that might be where the challenge is as to around that now the, the video I've sort of took inspiration from this round had some threaded rod in the corners with some more sort of cavity batten um, which was then levelled out, you know, that, that you could then adjust, sorry, so that you could sort of bring this up to any level you need it to be. But, um, you know, I'm probably going to get too bogged down with that at the moment. I just want to sort of get this get this on and have a bit of a, bit of a test run um, and, and see what it's looking like. Okay, so here we have it in all its glory. So, planer, attach to this frame. Within these, acting as sort of rails. Got a bit of bit of scrap wood. So I've just got a bit of um, bit of double sided tape underneath there, just to sort of hold it down as such. And then I've put this block on the end here. Um, yeah, well, all, all we can do now is. Um, Give it a test run. Wish me luck. All right, 
guys, so in conclusion, it worked. Um, definitely needs a little bit of refinement, um, just to sort of um, to be able to fine tune it a little bit. But for what I was what I was hoping to achieve is to be able to you know have a, a workable surface um, without having to um, spend hours sanding. Um, what I was really looking for was to turn this tool into a bit of a thickness planer, and I think I've achieved that with this jig. Where it lacks in its, in its versatility, um, it makes up for in the cost, which was basically some, some scraps from, from previous projects, um, and for the space that it's going to um, not take up uh, in, in my garage, um, and for something that for me probably wouldn't come out that often if I did own it, um, a thickness planer. This becomes a, a, a perfect alternative for me. Um, I mean, the system's not perfect in the sense that now I've done this side, if I wanted to do both sides, um, I would then need to, you know, have some shims or something to bring bring that up. Um, I would pass. Yeah, there's, there's that. Whereas with a thickness plane, you flip it over and, and, and away you go. Um, also need some better tape. <laughs> Um, but look, as a first run and sort of a realisation for uh, an idea that I, I've been looking into, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so this is my entry for Wood Jigs 21. Um, there's been some great great jigs there on there already, I can see. Um, I just wanted to, to contribute um, whilst also making something I've, uh, I've been sort of dreaming up for a while. Um, I think this will come handy on some future projects. If you've got any questions, um, pop, pop them down below. Love it.